this is not good. We have a problem with a... What's going on, guys? Back with another YouTube video. And today, we're just going to be doing work around the farm. Feeding, watering, that kind of stuff. But yeah, here's my dog. Her name's Luna. I got her, her a little pool right there. And got her three horses out there. Chickens over there. And yeah, our cow, he went off to the butcher. So yeah, not really much to take care of. We also started doing our garden. We got our um, green beans, I think. I, I can't remember. Then we got potatoes, strawberries, and lettuce. All in the garden. And yeah, we were riding my mini bike earlier. Got bored, so we just stopped. Chain popped off. I put it back on. But yeah, basically, all we gotta do is water and feed these guys. And if you guys want to see more farm videos, stuff like that, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and you'll catch more. Turn the post notifications on. Just, just to let you know. But yeah. Oh no. This is not good. No. We got a weasel or something. By the looks of it, it looks like it happened in here. Also got black feathers. Hang on. We've had a, an issue with rats. Now is it going to be weasels? And freaking raccoons and stuff? I got to shut this door so I'll catch you guys back when I get the door shut. I got the door shut and stuff. By the looks of it, it happens in here. It happened in here. Weasels are nocturnal. They basically do... A dance before they kill. Uh, yeah, that one looks like it was attacked as well. See, you got the side of its face. It's all messed up. Oh, my goodness. See, if you're going to have chickens, you got to gotta be sure they're safe. It's all right. <laughs> See, she's all jumpy now. It's okay. It's all right. Is it okay if I look? Come here. Get up. By the looks of it, she she's okay except her like face. Sorry if this is not your guys' cup of tea, but it, this kind this stuff kind this stuff does happen. Yeah, that was a weasel. She needs to be taken care of real good. <sighs> Probably happened when they were on their roost. Because you got feathers all over in here. Pretty sure it only got one. Tried getting her, but stuff kind of happens. Looks like it tried getting her. Too, but it probably got that one and killed it. But it happens. So now just gotta keep an eye on this one. And it happened out here, so you got feathers all over the place. By the looks of it, all the other ones are okay. That one's not hurt, the ones in there are not hurt. That one is the only one that looks like it got away, but had consequences. But all the other ones, they look like they're okay. Up, came in right under there. Went in. Climbed up in here. Said, ooh, some chickens. Took them off the roost. Grabbed them by their neck. And Killed it. And then it tried getting that one. 
here's the thing about here's the also here's another fact about weasels. They will go for the head. Pretty sure most of you know that. But they'll go on a killing spree and kill like ten. Not even eat a single one. They don't do it for food. They do it for they do it for hung. Not they do it for fun. Because they think it's fun to do that. Which it comes at consequences. But yeah. This kind of stuff does happen on a farm. It's not all. Oh. Just got to go feed and water. Nothing happens. But yeah. This stuff happens on a farm. By the looks of it. There was two culprits. A weasel went under there, got it, killed it, tried killing another one, drug it to here, couldn't get it out, left it. Then a, a raccoon probably came, drug it out, and ate, ate it. I got my squirrel trap. Weasels should fit in there. And I got a raccoon trap. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But, basically what I'm thinking is... Putting... The weasel trap on the inside... obviously the weasel is able to go under the fence. Raccoons can't because they're fat. So what I'm going to end up doing is taking some of these, putting it, the squirrel trap right there. A weasel is basically a, a big squirrel almost. So this should work. And... Well, let's get to it. You hate to use the stuff. That's what they want. They'll just come back and take the rest. They already killed one. They're going to keep killing them. Weasels, they don't do it for food. They do it for fun. Basically, they do a happy dance to, like, make other predators jealous. And then it kills the whatever it's going to kill. See, what I'm thinking about putting the weasel squirrel trap right here. As soon as it walks in, it's going to see it's got something waiting right in the back. But I don't know, because it might just go under it. You gotta think about this for a second. Might just get a board put under it. But, I don't know. It's kind of difficult. Because, like, the ground is not level, and you don't know where it's really coming from. You don't know if it's coming over. Don't know if it's coming through here, but it really looks like it came through here and killed it. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do... Wait. Looks like there's two different kinds of feathers. Those feathers, they could just be all bloody. But I doubt it. Then you got that, those feathers. Mostly those feathers. But I don't know. But as you guys can tell, that other one, it's up and moving around slowly, but surely. Trying to look for, like, any signs, like, where it could have done. Like, clump, climbed up somewhere. Probably could have climbed up this, got up here, climbed up here. Got right up on this, probably. 
chose which one it wanted. Probably the closest one to it. I'm going to go around checking to see if there's like any signs too. This kind of looks like there was one right here. Chasing one, right? Because you got the long, skinny body. Stuff like that. Probably got his paw prints right there, probably. Probably just going to turn my light on for you guys. See what I mean right there? It's got a long, skinny body. And you got a paw print right here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. Is. Look around, make sure there's no other holes and stuff. Where it could be getting in. Which I don't know. It. It, it it very could have not it had a very big possibility of coming right through that big old hole right in there. But I'm pretty sure it went through here. Probably snuck around all over. Smelling, looking for chickens. Saying, mmm, I smell a chicken. Let's see. Looks like it's got a little paw print right here. But I don't know. Can't really tell. I mean, if all this dirt was like very loose, it'd be really easy to tell, but it's really hard dirt. But yeah. Kind of disappointing, but it happens. Like I said. Yeah, this looks like a little paw right here. But yeah. But I'm going to set up the traps. I'll get back with you guys. What do you guys just want to watch? I'm pretty sure you guys just want to watch. Alright, so basically what I'm thinking about doing is like probably just setting this trap right here how it is. Maybe just setting it like that. Maybe. Or even if I could. I don't know because like I want it to go in the trap. It's like if it doesn't go in the trap, that's not good. And the only way to make it like go in the trap is basically having that place covered. Also, I'll just get back with you guys when I, like, get this all figured out and what I'm going to do. I mean, does it really have anywhere else to go except in the trap right there? I mean, there's also, if it steps on that, but is there anything interfering? No, there's not. The chickens will just have to stay away from it. I doubt they'll do that. Get this all back and set. Easy peasy. It's difficult sometimes, guys. Um, I might just need to go get a board. I'll get back with you guys when I get the board. Okay. I'm back. And. There's also another thing that I was thinking. Like. So yeah. I got this board. It's, it's got a bend in it. Right? But. What if. I just like. Basically build. A box. To where it has. To go. Into the trap. 
right? I mean, would it work? No, 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 no. That, that does not look good. Like, what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do is build something. I don't really have to build it. I probably just have to put it around it. Basically, make it so it has to go in this. Get like boards put around it so it can't go anywhere else except in there. I want to make sure it like can't really go anywhere. Right there would be good. Comes in, can't go here, can't go up, can't go to the side, goes in. I think that'll work, right? So, it's the real part. I just need to get something to do that. Hopefully the chickens just don't mess it all up. Basically what I'm saying is if I probably just took maybe one of these right or two yeah probably need two took two of these basically so it has to go in the trap right think that'll work it basically has nowhere else to go except the trap is what I want it to think is that going to interfere with anything though I don't think it will what I'm thinking I might have to do is probably get like couple of these build a box right so it can fit in here first I need to make sure they're wide enough but that's not a good idea to leave the door open but Nothing's going to happen when I'm out here, I, I hope. Pretty sure the, that these are wide enough. I just, like, want the box so I can put the trap in it. You know? I'll get back with you guys when I, like, figure this out. Basically, this is what I've got so far. Simple. Yeah, I don't know if it'll work. Because, why I say that, I need to make sure that yeah, it'll still go off and everything. But, what I want to know is, would this work? If it's like this, is it still tall enough to like put something over it? Just barely, probably. Yeah, I could probably just put some over it, too. Like, push it up against the wall, maybe? Also, I want it to, like, have, like... I'll get back with you guys when I, like, figure more out. Alright, so basically, here's what I thought so far. So you got this board like this, this one like this, and then this one like this. So this one can actually shut. But here's the real tricky part. Will it go into the trap? But basically, I'm probably just going to get the stuff, put this together, and 
see you guys when I basically get that all. Alright, so, couldn't find this screw gun, but I got a hammer, and I also got nails. So, let me do this the old-fashioned way. Alright, so, what I'm probably going to do first is, I'm probably going to nail this board. Sorry. Probably going to nail this board, this one. And then work my way around from there. So, I'll see you guys when I get this part almost done. So, basically, I'm not doing this because I already kind of messed up. But what I am going to do is just going to put a board on the side and hopefully it'll help, but I doubt it. But who knows, it could and it could not. So, I'll see you guys when I basically get all this cleaned up and finished. To where this weasel or whatever can't really do anything. Basically, here's what I got for this trap. It's all set. It's on the inside. All this. I'm probably just going to have to take that board off. Throw some chicken in there. Before tonight and stuff. But I got to kind of hurry up. Get the stuff done. So I'll see you guys when I... Start getting the raccoon trap all set up and stuff. Alright, got all that stuff done. Now I just need to get hammer and screws put away. And set the other trap. But for this trap, it should be fairly easy. Just going to move this pallet. Or should I move the pallet because... If I do, there's gonna, they're going to know something's up. So, actually, I'll leave that there. What I am going to do is take some of this stuff, move it out of the way. Right? When a raccoon does come through here, if it does... A straight path right into the cage. Basically, that's what I'm hoping for. So now, I'm just gonna take my trap, clean some of this out of the way. I also want it to have no other choice but to go in the trap because then I have nowhere else to go right so I'll see you guys when I get this one all set and ready to go basically so right here this one was pretty easy ish to set up but basically what I'm going to do is the same as that other one. Probably just gonna throw some of like this stuff inside. Put like something sweet smelling. Raccoons love sweets if you guys didn't know that. Put it like inside the trap a little bit. But got the squirrel trap right there. Using it for a wheels trap, but still got it right there. Raccoon trap right here. And if the weasel decides to come from this way, or right here, the weasel has a straight walk. And like, I might just pick this up. Pick that kind of crap up. So it feels like it needs to go that way, right? Yeah. Okay. So, that's that. And 
basically if you guys like these kind of videos make sure you hit that like button subscribe to see you guys in the next one peace